Welcome everyone to U.S. Cellular Field or whatever they call it, Guaranteed Rate Field, whatever they're going to call it now. As the 6-9 and nine Colorado Rockies travel to verse the 7-6 and six Chicago White Sox. This is the White Sox, very talented season for the series. Hoping that they can finally make that next jump as Mookie Betts now looking very small compared to the Rockies batter, which is... Very tall. Now, obviously, these two teams have the big trade. City Nolan Arenado to Chicago. Some other assets like Jose Abreu, etc. To Colorado. Starting for the White Sox is Bryant Bain, who in his first two starts, seven innings in each, 1.29 ERA. As DJ LeMay, who early in the first inning will get a base hit. Two right field, so he will be on base. Then with two out, or no, sorry, Trevor Story. Now there's two outs with the strikeout. Now with two outs, count is full for Chris Davis. That's a high flyer. That ball is good, 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 gone. Denver Rockies will take an early 2 0 lead with the home run from Chris Davis. Now, Jose Abreu, the former White Sox and former MVP for the White Sox, will strike out ending the inning. Now, pitching for the Rockies, someone who I'm not a huge fan of, Tyler Anderson. Now, I went to a baseball game last year. Someone hit a home run. Their next up bat, Anderson plunked them. Anderson and the Rockies manager got ejected. It, it, it wasn't pretty. So I kind of want to beat his butt today. Let's go first inning, first batter, Tim Anderson, the shortstop. The count is 1-2. He's hitting around 460 on the season, literally. Will strike out there. Then in the second inning, Evan Longoria for the Rockies. He's going to strike out looking. He forgot his wall. He's just looking. Then in the bottom of this, or no, no, not bottom. Top of the second still, it's going to be Jet Bandy who had a rocket shot. And that'll be caught by Matt Faye. So let's go. Bottom of the second inning, Andrew Benintendi is up for the White Sox, and he will hit a base hit to center field. And then Mookie Betts, you know what he's saying to the Rockies? You need some Mook. That one's high and deep. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's it's a baseball. As Mookie Betts with the home run is fourth on the season, and he will tie this game up at two. So then third inning now, David Dahl is up. He's going to get a nice little base hit. Just kidding. As Mookie Betts with the hustle, he will get the out. As Bryant Bain, probably applauding there. Then Trevor Story, that one's hit high and deep into the left center field gap, but it will be caught by Marcel Ozuna to end the inning. So to go bottom of the third counter, Timothy Griffin leading it off. And Timothy Griffin will get a nice little base hit there to start the inning off. And then the next, not the next batter, sorry. Yon Moncada, the batter after the next batter, will hit that one out. Nice catch by the right fielder, Jordan Patterson, who had a big day himself. Then later in the inning, the next batter, Humberto Fuentes. That one will be fair ball down the line and fair. Timothy Griffin's going to head for third, and he will be saved. That'll be a double for Humberto Fuentes, who's had a great season as Abreu in his second at bat of the ball game. That one's almost a home run. He had a lot of home runs with the White Sox, but no. As Jordan Patterson, he's going to strike out there swinging. Let's go bottom of a fourth. Bookie Betts is up. One out, nobody on. He already has one home run. Well, he's not going to hit two yet, but that's going to be an extra base hit for Mookie. He's fast. He can get a double, and he will slide into second with a one-out double. So then later in the bottom of the fourth, Marcel, no, not Marcel, you know, Vladimir Guerrero is playing for the bench. Nolan Arenado versus his former team. Nolan Arenado struggling, hitting about 180 with two home runs on the season. So now it's 3-2 White Sox. Jet Bandy will strike out swinging right there. Bounce go later in the fifth inning. David Dahl is up. He's going to hit a grounder to Yon Moncada. Oops, Moncada. Yeah, no. As Dahl will get to first base. Right there, then the next, no, not the next batter, Yon Moncada himself is up, and he's going to strike out, as luckily the error didn't cost the White Sox. Then Trevor Story in the sixth inning, he's going to hit a base hit. That'll be a single into right field, so now there's a runner on for the White Sox. The next batter, Chris Davis, swinging. That's Chris Davis on the strikeout, will be swinging. Then the long go. We'll get it to Moncada. No errors today, as that's going to be a little toss of a shortstop. Tim Anderson to end the inning. Now, Mookie Betts in the bottom of the sixth inning. Count three and one. Two outs. That one's hit high. Pretty deep. Is that gone? Well, not quite. Warning track power, but it'll be caught by, I'm assuming, for center fielder is David Dahl. So, let's go seventh inning. Jordan Patterson counts three and one. That one's hit high and deep. 
And that ball is good, 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 gone as Bryant Bain still in the game. Jordan Patterson clearly didn't feel the Bain. As then later in the inning, that one will be a base hit as the right fielder Benintendi could not get to it. However, the runner on third will not score. Then Trevor Story later in the inning, he's going to strike out. And that'll end the inning, probably end Bain's day as well. David Hernandez went on to pitch for the Rockies. Six innings and three earns for Tyler Anderson. Nolan Arenado coming on to pinch hit for the White Sox. And he's going to get a base hit pinch hitting for Vladimir Guerrero Jr., who's playing third base instead. He stayed in the rest of the game. Then Ozuna would ground it to the shortstop, but it would be a base hit. So now two runners on and two outs for Yohan Moncada, and that will be a base hit as well. Arenado will head home. The throw from Dahl will not be in time as Arenado will take the lead for the White Sox versus his former team. Then after seven innings, Brian Baines' day will be done. Pretty solid game. He did not allow a hit after the Chris Davis home run until the fifth inning. Seven innings, three earned. The stats did kind of lie. He did better than that, I would say. And Adam Liberatore, I butchered that. Definitely. We'll enter the game. Chris Davis in the eighth inning. That one will be an extra base hit. Two left field, but that'll be a single. The longest single in LB history. So then Jose Abreu will be out of a rocket shot to face. Over to Anderson. Over to, I could not tell who that was, but that's going to be a double play. Then long go of two outs. That will should have been a base hit. It should have almost been an out, but instead Ozuna butchered it. And that's going to be a double. Ozuna in no rush to throw it. Then Jordan Patterson, two times the charm. He has, I know it's three times the charm. I'm kind of stupid. As Jordan Patterson with a home run, giving the Rockies the lead, making it 5-4. to four. Then Jeff Bandy forgot his wallet, so he's just looking. So then Matt Fayes, Mike Dunn is now pitching for the Rockies. Matt Fayes, who's had an MVP caliber season after winning Rookie of the Year last year, will get an extra base hit right there. Now Carlos Estevez is pitching because of, like, because Mookie's a righty. Estevez, part of that Nolan Arenado trade, was on the Rockies, then traded to the White Sox, and then traded back to the Rockies in the Arenado deals. Felipe Rivera coming into the ninth inning for the White Sox. That's going to be a base hit. Already one runner on. Mookie bets no hurry to get the ball as the runner will advance to third because of it. And then Trevor Story will get the base hit, making this ball game 6-4. to four. As then Chris Davis would ground it to Moncada, to Anderson, to face the MV, and he only one run allowed. David Robertson, former White Sox, not in the Arenado trade, traded before the Arenado trade, will come on to save this game. The count is full for Marcelo Zuna. He's going to strike out. On an awful pitch, but the pitch was so bad, it was a wild pitch. And Ozuna was able to make it to first base. So then Jan Moncada Anderson is now on first instead of Ozuna. As Jan Moncada will not end the game because there's two outs, he's going to get a base hit. Tim Anderson trying to leg it out for third, and he will be safe. So Humberto Fuentes for winning run. The count is one and two of two outs. He's had a great season. Can he make it even greater? That's not really a word. But he will strike out to end the game. Final score, Rocky 6. They will improve to 7-9. The White Sox will go down to 7-7 seven seven with only scoring 4.